Hello and welcome. Thank you for finding my YouTube channel. I am J wait, wait, there's Darplander. Oh yeah. Anyway, I am Chinchilla, also known as Happy Chilla. I'm here to bring you fun and maybe sometimes semi not so much informative videos of Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. And it is Reborn. In fact, I'd call it Ballin. Anyway, uh, we're back from 1.0, and we're ready. Seriously, this game is freaking awesome. So sit back and come with me as we explore Eorzea and Around Reborn. Alright, this video is going to be about gathering, which is minor and botanist. Uh, there's also Fisher, but that was an in beta phase 3. Um, also, I should point out that um, because of the NDA, we're not allowed to show video. So, we have to stick with screenshots, but it should be fun. Um, I'm mostly going to be on Botanist, but we'll get into that a little bit more in a few minutes. Or seconds. Or whatever. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing to note is definitely that I am a Legacy member, so I do have multiple uh, classes at level 50 or beyond. Botanist isn't one of them, but it's up there. So it's it's important to note that some of the abilities you'll see in this video are not stuff you'll have uh, right away. And it's, it's beta, so it could all change anyway. But I figured this uh, hopefully will spark some interest, because it really is kind of a cool way to do gathering. Um, so the first thing you want to see here on this screenshot is the lush vegetation which is level 15. If it was level 1 through 5 it would show you all those unknowns and tell you what they were. Um, but here we actually need to use an ability and that ability is Field Mastery 3 and we'll show that in this. Okay so Field Mastery 3 increases the chance of obtaining items while gathering by 50%. And if you look closely at uh, the hop bar there I also have uh, Field Mastery 2 and 1. So, depending on your level, you know, you're going to use whichever one you can really get. And uh, that increases your chances of finding out what it is or even just obtaining stuff you already know. Yay! Buffalo beans! So exciting! I don't... yeah. Buffalo beans. Beans from a buffalo. Alright, actions and abilities. Um, these are your basic um, things in here, actions. Uh, they fit onto your hotbar. And, you know, you use them. You have ones to, uh, like we saw before, help you find items that you don't know or help you actually get the items from the bush or tree, uh, buffalo beans. Um, there's ones to increase your high quality gathering skill and you can see that um, in some of these screenshots it'll say like 98% and then below it it'll say like 15% so that's your regular gathering rate percentage and then your HQ percentage so it's really cool to have that um, I also wanted to point out triangulate and miners have the exact same thing only it's called um, it might actually be called the same thing triangulate I don't think it is it's a prospect maybe and um, so this shows on your mini-map in the top right of the screen there um, where the positions are. Now, they're not labeled on the mini-map, but once you find out where they are, you're going to be running around, you're going to figure it out, and uh, you know, you're going to know where the heck you're going. And in your actual gathering log, it'll tell you, say you want marjoram. You're going to look under your log, and uh, whether it's with the scythe, or the actual hatchet, it's going to tell you it's what zone it's in. So it might take you a little bit of time to um, find out where exactly that is, but you will find it. And I'm sure soon enough uh, there'll be a lot of information up on the wikis, mainly the Gamerscape wiki for 14, because they're just awesome. Um, so let's move into traits because there's something I wanted to point out about that too. Alright, auto triangulate. That's awesome. So that means at level 2, we don't have to use triangulate. Not that triangulate costs like points. Um, I never went over gathering points. Okay, so you down the bottom of the screen it says 
gathering points or GP and those are the points you use for an ability just like TP, MP, etc. Crafters have CP, crafting points. Um, and in gathering it really takes a long time to uh, bring them back up so you can keep using it but you can keep gathering without them it's just those are for your special abilities so anyway now that I've brain farted all over the buffalo beans um, auto triangulate auto prospect awesome mainly because that means so say I'm just running around to botanize is that a word let's let, let's run with it botanizing buffalo beans um, you know, I could put Prospect on my Botanist, and I could use that and see all the, um, mining points as well in the area. So I could really be going to town, you know, I'm chopping, I'm picking, I'm picking, I'm chopping. Awesome. Love it. Don't have to dedicate to one or the other. I can run around and do both. Because with the gear set options and the character screen, you just scroll down, click Miner, and pa -poo -poo. Poo. Shazam! Let's go with Shazam. That sounded that was better than poo poo poo. Alright, so in this screenshot we can see that I've got this quest and I'm turning in I'm trying to get this HQ Marjoram and that little weird symbol after um, the item name is means HQ. I don't know why. Uh, whatever. That's what they went with. Uh, something I can deal with for sure. Um, so there's definitely these quests every five levels or so, I think it's five, um, where you have to go and, you know, gather some crap for the guildmaster, um, which is this little taro named, like, Fufucha, and I had a lot of fun trying to say that name because it doesn't really sound like Fufucha, and when she tells you to go get, like, 30 HQ alligator pears, and you're like, I don't have time for this crap last thing you're probably going to call her is Fafucha. Anyway, so it's really cool because they'll give you new um, equipment, uh, main hand, off hand, weapons, quote unquote, not that they're weapons. Um, but it's really cool because it gives you kind of a purpose and you're not just out there like, okay, what, do, what can I get at low level that no one really wants um, and try and sell. So it makes it worth leveling up because you know even if you skip buying one piece of gear you know you get it from the quest and then you also get you know exp and gill and all that happy crap so they really did a cool job and these are the only quests that go up to like level 30 in the beta so i had a lot of fun doing them um, again because i'm like level i think it's 37 it was a heck of a lot easier for me if I was level, you know, 10 or 15 when I'm trying to get these HQ Marjorams, it could take me hours. Um, hopefully not hours. Uh, maybe people be a little smarter than me, but uh, it really only took me about 20 minutes. And, I mean, e the gathering can be so fast that it really... I retract my previous hours statement. But the gathering, because the gathering can be done so quick that even if you have a 5% HQ rate that's still really not that bad because it's you know bang 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 tree 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 bush 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 uh... they, they done good I, I love it I love it I mean I'd rather be fighting stuff but if I'm gonna make some gill I love it alright let's get into stealth stealth is really cool it uh... keeps you from being detected from enemies so you know you're running around you pop this on it's gonna slow your movement speed down so you're gonna have to walk but you won't get eaten, which is always a plus. Stealth, very good if you're leveling. Botanist, and you're somewhere where you're gonna get your face ripped off by a bunch of angry buffaloes, because you took their beans? Good joke, Jin. Good joke. Alright, that pretty much wraps up uh, gathering. Um, look forward to more videos. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Chinchilla. Have a great day. You're my boy, Lou!